Worlds are at war again in Firaxis's XCOM Enemy Unknown, a slick reboot of the 90s DOS classic which any fan would tell you didn't need one. Invaded by an unidentified flying armada, the game focused on turn-based management as you battled an alien enemy, letting you lead humanity's first line of defense as a commander. Sid Meier returns to his old IP, once with Micropose, now with Firaxis, and XCOM sure as the name Sid should signal is a brilliant console strategic sim that has enough depth for longtime Meyer masters with intuitive real-time action that will make newcomers feel like pros. That is, after a few hours. The story in a game like this is inconsequential, like questing for the experience points rather than the plot progression in an open world RPG. The strategy genre is one built on choice, and those choices are the story of your playthrough. Nonetheless, Firaxis has fitted some fiction into XCOM. Aliens, the cliché bulbous head and ray gun wielding variety, have invaded and a council of nations has convened. You are the commander. The name won't be the only thing to remind you of Mass Effect. And you are again charged with holding the lines against the intergalactic interlopers. Simple. The turn-based gameplay is not as artless, composed of big-picture micromanagement and frontline fighting. From headquarters, you scan the globe for available missions, mandatory and optional, that reward you with military assets and money. Sometimes nations call for support, and sometimes you have to choose which to aid, your choices carrying consequences. Send your best to a failing stronghold in China, and you may earn their trust, not to mention some of their financial coffers. But neglect an appeal from a fellow state, and they might back out of humanity's military alliance, leaving you that much shorter on manpower and friends. From your base, you also oversee all the tasks that will help your cause in the long term. These include researching scientific developments, fortifying your chateau with additional facilities, and maintaining the spirit and arm of your soldiers. From the Situation Room, maintain your finances and launch satellites to keep an eye on key regions and nations. Buy weapons and abilities to upgrade troops, equip your air cavalry with hardier cannons, and play peacekeeper as you diplomatically try to unite every faction on Earth against a common threat. This type of dual-layered command resonates Mass Effect 3, more so because XCOM looks and sounds a lot like 2012's trilogy-topping blockbuster. From the similarly rendered characters to the similarly sounding voiceover snippets of Oh Hey Commander, to the synthetic ambience of its musical score, you'll occasionally expect to see a Krogan or Salarian around the corner. The irony is that the aliens in XCOM are not the spawn of the Star Wars imagining, but the cliché 50s invader flick variety, as already mentioned bulbous head and ray guns to boot. These are nothing but compliments though, this is a terrifically produced game that updates the original with a great sounding, great looking strategy sim, retaining very retro themes at the same time. While the micromanagement of your big picture command can get wearisome, the tutorial elements never seem to end in this regard, leading your troops into battle steals the show by a slide. On the field, you control four squad mates who run from cover to cover turn by turn. Different units bear different specialties, with a common crew consisting of a rifleman, support unit, sniper, and engineer. But again, it's up to you. Maps are typically small, but there are a heck of a lot of them, and as your missions mostly entail fast get-in, get-out guerrilla tactics, the action is intense. As you explore the field, the shadowed sections recede until you at last make contact with enemies, which do everything they can to exploit porous flanks and take you out. As you and the aliens exchange fire, a success rate is associated with each attack. The higher the percentage, the higher the chance of a critical hit. The complete lack of predictability in combat makes this a deeply real and powerful experience. The feeling of relief as you pick off a heavily fortified hostile is countered only by the sourness of losing one of your own men by careless positioning on your part. Despite being turn-based, it's quick and tactical and a lot of fun, not to mention fair. The genius of XCOM's gameplay is that it is considerably easy to pick up, but incredibly difficult to master. Just when you feel that you're taking out waves without breaking a sweat and start to consider ramping up the difficulty, two aliens pop out of nowhere and take down two of your men. And once you lose a man, he's lost to you forever. Another brilliant device meant to make XCOM more personal. As you level up the men under your command, watching them rank and donning new equipment, you begin to suffer the illusion of their immunity. But they can die, they will die, and you will have to deal with 
with it and move on. Shocking as it may sound, even compared to the almost complete virtual immersion of a first-person war shooter, this is a game that makes you feel something when NPCs die, and that's saying something. Though it may not have been the most anticipated or widely discussed game of 2012, the year ended with one of its best. XCOM is a fantastic remake that updates the DOS original for the consoles, while retaining all the strategy sim goodness that made the classic worthy of the word. Rich graphics, stupendous sound, and tens of hours of satisfying tactical gameplay that blends frontal command with diplomatic expertise make Enemy Unknown an easy recommendation. Don't be put off by its considerable learning curve, because make no mistake, it'll take you a few hours to become proficient at its ins and outs. This is another brilliant offering by Sid Meier, and a must-have for the thinking man, the science fiction aficionado, the ET extremist, or all of the above.